Hi, this is Master Jambai. Welcome to this new replay commentary. I hope you guys will enjoy. This is Drake versus Sammy. This is on Crossfire map. I do like Crossfire a lot. Now, let's read out the Steel Shark and then we will go over to both profile of both players because this was Global League and we did play this back in January three months before this recording now let's do this Sami foot soldier gained plus 30% attack and plus 50% capture point bonus rounded down this is a really good day today other direct unit lose 10% attack this is somewhat of a weakness but who cares when you got two towers just saying transport gain plus one movement this is also very good for transport if you have any transport now let's go over to the power and the super double time for three stars Foot Soldier gain plus one movement and their attack is increased to 50. This is really strong, really underrated. People don't use it because people think Victory March is the only good thing about Sammy, but guys are wrong. Uh, Victory March is broken, but it's more a end game than something you can count on to win. Uh, Victory March. 8 stars, foot soldier gain plus 2 movement and their attack is increased to 70. Foot soldier can capture building instantly, even with 1 HP. This is good. This is really good. Now, a good semi player will spam the power and keep the victory march as a surprise attack or a end game move to steal a victory. Don't rely on victory march. Smart people will lock their building and they will stop you from victory marching your way. They will, I'm telling you. Drake! Now all unit gain plus 1 movement and plus 25 defense. Air unit lose 20% attack, unaffected by rain except vision and has higher chance of rain in random weather. Tsunami, all enemy unit lose plus one up. Uh, all enemy lose one HP and after full. It's four stars, so it's good. Typhoon for seven stars, all enemy unit lose two HP. And after fuel, weather change to rain for one day. This is really, really strong. It's very underrated. Or people actually know the true value. Or they don't, I really don't know. I still believe Drake should be considered 2 and not 3. Because Typhoon is broken. Just saying. Now. Let's go over to both profile. Combine lead bases. 956.75, 178 wins, 184 defeats. Olaf Sami Storm Eagle. These are my top four with Drake a close fifth. And then the rest is the rest. Let's go over to my opponent. Be kind to me. We will see. Ranking 864.6. 69 wins, 74 defeat, 1 draw. On the top of the chain, Jake, second, Kindle, third, Olaf, fourth, Adder. It's very interesting to see someone having Jake and Kindle on top of their chain. Usually we see better seals there, 
I still think Kindle is very underrated and she is really good, but she's not really popular. Now, let's go over to the replay. I hope you guys will enjoy. Now, before we go any further, I need to address this. Some stupid people are attacking the website. Some stupid people try to destroy the website. Because of them, the replays are broken. They struggle a lot. And... Yeah, uh, the people in charge of the website know the issue, they are doing their best, I thank them for doing their best. With that being said, I hope you guys will still enjoy this replay. I will try to be fast on the first few turns, but you know it, it will be slower than past video, and now I say this. But I've been seeing it for like over a week, probably two weeks. Yeah, and this is also why I'm less productive. I I just don't want to make as many replays as before, and this makes me sad. I used to like it a lot, but now I'm kind of pissed off because there's always that anger. You do move, 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 move. Crash, break. Refresh! Refresh fails. Refresh! Works. Now, you know what's going on. Let's keep going. Let's do some gameplay. So, now, I need to move to one manually to make sure there is no crash. And this is actually uh, interesting when I look back. I think this is the best opening because there's a chain I can do. And that infantry is perfect to get the building. But yeah, right now, it's been a while I haven't played this map. So I don't remember if I still do this opening. And when I think about it, I think I would rush the base. Now, if I am Sasha, I will go for the chain first. But any other CO, I think I would go for the base. I really don't know. Is it good or bad? Both sides are right. Let's keep going. Now, I don't agree with that. Going for that airport instead of the chain, it's pretty bad. Now, you will probably rush the transport copter. Transport copter in this map is not really, really good. As Sammy, it's fine. But we already got that black bolt there. So I don't feel the need to have a transport. Now, I know. The black bolt can only go on C, and most of the map is grounded and as forest. So, black bolt cannot cover the entire map. But yeah, I'm I'm not a fan of transport in this map. I I I'm not. So it goes down, goes for the building. Infantry, infantry. Capture. Go for the airport. And now it's next turn. Drop the infantry. Capture the building. Bam 
Now, I did open up with a tank, tank, forever, they are really good, you need them. Bum 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 bum, as I said, early transport copter rush. Look, it's not really bad, but it's not really good either. You will probably get Iskam Tower really early, but... Is it worth the money? You will like the firepower on your front line because of that transport. And the map is big, so it will take a lot of turn for you to pay back your transport. On the other hand, my tank will pay themselves back fast and much faster than usual because you don't have things to compete with me right now. We are really slow. Break all infantry, infantry. Break all infantry and inf oh mech oh my mechs in this huge map. Now this is Sammy, so maybe it's fine. We will see. Anti-air infantry and infantry, and now. I hope my infantry will go for the tower. I'm really scared. Sometimes I forget about that tower on top. Capture, capture. So yes, he will get that tower really fast, but still not a fan of the early transport. It's not worth it. You spend 5k, you need to pay it back or... Well, you will just give me free shooting season, I mean... Whatever. ba bum 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 Artillery infantry. Break on. Capture, capture, capture. Artery, artery, infantry. Capture, capture. And now I did the mistake I feared I would do. I moved the infantry there instead of the tower. What is going on with me? I know this is Sammy team, but hey, I I've heard enough of Drake. Bam 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 bam.
So far, so good. I'm the only one doing stupid stuff. I still don't have my tower. First strike, first strike, first strike. Kill. Now, instead of killing my infantry, she went for the gap. I disagree with that. Unit count is essential. If you can take away your opponent units, do it. Whatever the seals, do it. A damaged unit can still gather intel vision. A damaged unit can still roadblock you. Finish them off. Now, I said what I wanted to say, uh, let's keep going. You see, the mech is taking forever to reach the battlefield. So far, so good. Will I wake up and realize I did not win for my tower? This is the true question. I realized it, so I decided to make a transport copter. If I was smarter, uh, I would not need that uh, transport there. But I am retard, so... Capture, cap, kill, capture, damage, damage, damage. What? Okay, she, I rolled it. Infantry should never damage Raycon like that. Not because of luck. No, 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 no. It's bad. She took herself. She took five damage. That infantry won't catch her as fast. That infantry can die from my Raycon now. One shot. Pow. Boom. Don't do that. This is a war crime. A new kind of war crime. I've never seen that before. An infantry attacking a full HP recon. This is dumb. If the recon has 1 HP, 2 HP, maybe 3. I accept it. But if the Rigon has 4 HP or more, don't bother attacking it with infantry. Don't. This is wrong. Infantry are not aggressive units. They are economy units. They need to hurt your opponent economy or they need to increase your economy. How to hurt your enemy economy? Attack his infantry. Capture his building. Infantry should never go against tanks and recon, except if tanks and recon are about to die and you can finish them off. <coughs> Sorry about that, I think even my nose is angry at that move. Artery, artery, whatever. Capture, capture. Finish off a unit, kill myself. 
almost killed the unit. Kill. Damage. Damage. Battlecopter anti-air and probably infantry as well. Or I am retard. Uh, yeah, I am retard. I miscalculated my money and I base skipped. I did a war crime, guys. It's wrong. Don't do the same, please. This is bad behavior. Now, this is clever. Keep in mind, this is Sunny, so she will probably get the tower. So this is very clever. I praise this one for real. Uh, getting that tower like that means a very strong increase in firepower. You will rise to 130, and I will remain at 100 because I'm retard. Anyway, I will be right back. So, I am back. Tank, tank, Raycon. This is a really good turn. Let's see if I am smarter and if I bring one of my infantry on top to get the tower. I don't know what I was doing. This is a uh, semi mech. Oh, this is what I was doing. I actually killed the mech. So you see, the mech did not even pay itself back. It didn't. It just died. So this shows you all bad mechs are. I see it, I kill it! For real, this is trash! Don't build them, please! Don't! Kill! Kill! Damage! Yes, I am smart enough now. I woke up and I realized I need my tower. So I go for my tower. Capture rocket infantry infantry. Now we will take a moment to speak about her power. Do you see any good capture she can do? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's not that many good captures she can do. But, take a closer look to my capturing infantry and to my infantry on top by the tank. You see the infantry over there? Now, if my opponent uses super, or I should say his power, he can use that infantry to do major damage to my infantry. With this infantry there, one, two, three, four, he can first strike this, and then with this second infantry he can finish off the infantry. And then with this one he can one, two, three, four, reach this building. So is it worth it to use the power right now? I will be honest, it's not really worth it. For two infantry, one building. It's not worth it. But maybe later on, if he is able to keep his infantry alive, maybe he will give a good push with the double time. I'm just saying that. Maybe the guy won't even use Double Dime because he's one of these people that see Victory March as a winning condition. It's not. It's just an endgame move. I did loss one game against the Victory March because the guy was really smart, was able to pierce an entire wall of units, and then he was able to kill my unit 
protected the HQ, then he was able to cap it. But this is the only time I have seen a good victory march. Most of the time, people are not doing good victory march. This is the sad truth. It's rare you see good victory march. It's as simple as that. Now, is it a good super? Yes! But this is an endgame move, not an early stage move to do. No. So, with that out of the way, let's keep a going. Capture my building and doesn't use the power. Which is fine in this case, I won't criticize too much. <laughs> Look, this is a funny move. This is good and bad. This is bad because you will lose two units to protect your on tower cap. But this is good because you will protect your gun tower cap. And this is funny as well. So I understand why he is doing this, but it's not really good. It's not the best thing to do. Let's see how I react to this. Now, I laugh my life and I realize he's about to get my tower. And I feel even more angry against myself because I'm like, I don't have my tower yet. But hey, in two turns, I will get my tower, so I will be back in business. And in maybe four turns, I will get back my second tower. This is how things are. So let's see how I react to this really funny move. I won't say it's good, but it's funny. I place my rocket there. First strike, and the thing survived because it's in a mountain. Kill, kill, damage, damage, kill, kill. Uh, there's a glitch. Oh. I did not attack that transport. I am retard. I am stupid. Let's keep going. So now, let's see how the map is right now. One, two, three, four. This infantry can reach this building. This infantry. One, two, three, four. Cannot do much. Now, look here. I have an infantry there. I have an infantry there. Forget it, he won't be able to reach this one, but he can maybe one, two, three, no. I think I would still use my power. And here's the explanation. With my power, I would uh, damage that infant. Well, maybe no. I, I would use that infantry to kill this. Then I would use that infantry to damage this. Then I would use my infantry there to capture the building. Then I would use that anti-air to kill the other infantry. So you see, these infantry there, if I was in charge, if I was Sami, these three infantry there would have all died with my power. And I would have gotten my opponent building because he has no other defense. This is all you use, Sami, and this is the best play. Now, is it the best double time ever? Not really. But it's still very good because you kill three of your opponent infantry, damaging his economy because you will also get one of his building, and later on you will also increase your own economy because your opponent has no more unit around, so the neutral city will be yours. So in the long game, this 
double time can give you a good edge, a good early game advantage. And this is Sami strength. The early stage of the game, Sami is really good. The longer the game will be, the weaker she becomes. But early in the game, she can do a lot of damage to it, her opponent's economy. So I think in this specific case, the double time could be a great choice. Will my opponent use it? I don't think so, because people just think about Victory March. So let's see that, keep that guy saving his power. Killing the unit. Damage, damage, kill, kill, kill. Remove the infantry away. Now, you still kill all of my units, so at that point, it still has the advantage. But he's not about to capture my building and use this battlecopter to kill one of my infantry. If he used his double time instead, the copter could go elsewhere and do something better and smarter as well. And you could look like a good player because you're using the double time. When I see player using the double time and having a good double time by killing my stuff and capturing my stuff, I'm like, this is a good Sammy and it's scary. But each time I see the guy building up his meter and waiting for victory march, I'm like, that guy is a deadbeat or something. But that's me, that's that, that's just my way of dealing with things. I'm not a pro player, I'm not really skilled, I'm just very experienced. And I have seen a lot of Sammy player, and only a few of them were good. It's rare. It's rare. Because people think Sammy is just Victory March. And it's a lie. APC, Artery, Artery. Capture, attack. Kill, damage, kill, damage, kill, damage, damage. I tried to get back my tower. And now I use Tsunami. And I will tell you the reason. I see my opponent saving for his victory mark. And I see he has a lot of infantry in the front line. If I wait for my Typhoon, maybe it will be too late for her victory march. I used my Tsunami because I wanted fast damage, and I planned on killing a lot of infantry and mechs on my next turn. Usually I tell people use Typhoon, it's better. In this specific case, using the power is the right thing to do, because you don't want Sammy to have infantry capping stuff. I think Tsunami is Sammy's worst nightmare. She doesn't care about Typhoon, because she gets her victory march right after it. However, the Tsunami... She can be pissed off, she can be, oh no, my infantry are not as good, oh no, my infantry go poof elsewhere in the paradise and they die. So let's keep going. And I will also tell you this, this map is big, so fuel drain can be really, really a pain in the butt. Uh, of course, he has an APC, but maybe things will crash before they can do anything good. We will see how it goes.
capture my building. Attack, 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 attack. Kill the anti air. I still don't understand why he sent his copter there. I have my anti air there. Ooh, no more. Bomber, infantry, and that's it. Base skip is wrong, my child. And she got trapped. That's fine. Kill, kill. You see, because of my tsunami, I was able to kill two infantry. So in this area, everything is safe. First try. Kill the copter. Damage the infantry. Kill the infantry. Protect my building. Kill the copter. So now, I don't know if it will glitch, no, okay. Let's take a look to the current state of the game. My opponent just got her victory mark. Do you think it will be a good victory mark? Let's see how many buildings she can get. One. No. That she can't. It's out of reach. She doesn't have the firepower to kill a tank on a building. She don't. Now. Let's look elsewhere. Can she HQ cap me? No. I have a black boat protecting the HQ. So you see, right now, even if she used Victory March, it does nothing. The best thing she can do is kill my infantry with her infantry. But you don't need Victory March to do such tasks. You don't need it. So, now do you see what I meant? Why Victory March is more an endgame than an endgame move. Do you see it? Damage, 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 kill. Now, Eden, I mean that tower, and this is uh, very good, but kill. Look, I have a rocket there. Maybe I will move it aside. I really don't know. Or maybe I will just kill that tank. We will see how it goes, but. Usually that tower is mine, so I think he invests a lot of forces just to deny me the tower and it's not really good. Now, don't get me wrong, having 3 tower out of 4 is really good, but don't invest too much in your opening stuff. That will get it back at some point. Damage copter, try to capture. Damage, kill, 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 tsunami again, damage, 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 kill. Now we are at the 70. Now, what if she used Victory March? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. She can get that building and this building, but this building she doesn't need Victory March. Can she get this building? Let's count the space. 
One, two, three, four, five. No. You see, if she used Victory March, she gets one building. Eight stars for one building. How oh, funny. This is trash. If you have a Victory March, you need to win. It's a Victory March. You don't win with one extra building. Can he capture my HQ? I doubt it. 7 HP artillery cannot kill 8 HP black bolt. Now, why you ask me 7 HP? Well, she has a 5 and a 2. So, in total, it would be 7. Now, even if she stacks up a tank, it's not enough. She cannot HQ cap me right now in this current state. So, our victory march is bad. She just cannot win with it. Now, I will address something I did not really address earlier, but take a look at the unit count and the volume. I got 28 units, she got 24. I got a better unit count. Granted, this is the start of her turn, so it's normal. But can she really flip the table? We will see. Now, take a look at the income. She only has 1k more and she has an extra top tower. It's not impressive, it's not the best thing ever. It's not bad either, it's just fine. Now, take a look at the army value. I have 127,000. She has a 97,000. You see, it's 20k of difference. The cap is huge. It's almost an entire turn. And the best explanation is to Tsunami. Dude, Tsunami is like one Typhoon, but with one extra star. That's the best explanation. Now, let's go take a look if she can flip the table. Damage, damage. Damage, damage. Kill, damage. Kill, kill, damage, kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill. Damage. Now, I think she wins. I did a major mistake. She will actually do a good victory march. And this is just when I look back that I realize that. I didn't see that bomber. That bomber is the winning bomber. That's the only weapon she was able to use to kill my black bolt. In normal times, she has nothing right now to kill the black bolt. But bomber. So this is very interesting. Uh yeah, she, she won. Um, I remain on my position about Victory March. If I was better or if I had visual, if I could see that bomber, there's no way I would leave a black bolt there. I would leave my medium tank and 
she probably uh, the firepower to deal with the black bomb, uh, the, the black bolt, I should say. Now this is very interesting. I still think that I was not a good Sammy player. Uh, that bomber was well done. I need to praise that move. It was the right thing. It was really good. That made him win. But winning with victory march like that doesn't make you a good Sammy player. You were just able to use a bomber and victory march. Now, did it work? Yes, it worked. But in higher caliber, against better player, against pro player, that kind of strat doesn't work. I lost because I'm not skilled. I played against that guy again later on in other games and I rolled on him because he relied on his victory march and because victory march is not the key of everything but this time it worked so I hope guys enjoyed a like comment and subscribe we will see each other in a future video have a great day